Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now season 7 is brand new. I'm super hyped about it. Been playing quite a bit and enjoying it and I got a nice little solo win gameplay for you guys here and I'm going to talk about how to rank up fast in this season because XP is still a very very important thing especially when people in this game want to upgrade their skins and upgrade to get the Max Zenith skin and the Max Link skin which I'm using the Link skin uh, in this gameplay here. So you really want to level these up and these are based off of experience and so we're going to talk about how to do that how to rank up fast and everything uh in season seven drop a like guys i'd really appreciate if you guys could smack a like you guys have been killing it with the likes lately i would really appreciate that if we could go for 1500 likes that'd be amazing i want to upload uh, yet another video later tonight i think i've uploaded like five videos already i'm working really hard trying to you know cover everything to do with season seven and hopefully this video will help you guys out so subscribe if you guys are new smack that like button takes a millisecond i appreciate the support and let's talk about this so the zenith challenges and the link challenges are really what people are going to want to uh, get XP for and that's because those are two upgradable skins unlocked at level one now the ice king skin which is upgradable unlocked at uh, battle pass tier 100 I'm going to talk about that in, in a different vid because that is completely different I have a different strategy and approach for that but this is all about XP we've seen these before with the Omega with the Ragnarok with the dire skin like, we've seen this many many times and the links challenges uh, you can see here I'll show up on the screen the links challenge is the max XP one. There's also some like uh, some below it. I think that's to have to do with challenges and doing weekly ones. But it's 325k, and then for the Zenith, it's 350k. So as you can see, very similar amounts on both of those. And according to calculations based on last season, how much XP it's going to take to like what level are you going to be unlocking that stuff? It looks like the max link should be unlocked, and this is based on last season X or uh, last season, the season before is XP ratio so they could adjust this but it looks like around level um 67 you should be getting the links maxed out and around level 69 to 70 you should be getting the other uh the, the zenith maxed out so very very cool stuff there but of course hitting level 60 or level 70 is not too easy to do it's a lot easier said than done now the grind usually um it, you know those it's just like anything else like a call of duty going through a prestige those first levels are very very easy like i'm already level 20 in this game let me know what level you guys are in this season already uh let me know because i know some people have probably been grinding all day i probably are like level 40 but like i said those first 60 levels are a lot easier and then of course 60 to 80 80 to 100 become a lot a lot tougher so how do you rank up fast what is the most efficient way to get xp to be able to unlock this stuff that's what we're going to talk about in today's video now first of all from having the battle pass uh basically most people are going to have the battle pass at least level one uh that are going to want to rank up and rank up these skins right Right? So the first thing about the battle pass is throughout leveling up the battle pass and tearing up the battle pass can help you rank up because uh, in the battle pass there's things known as XP boost and friend boost and I will show you up on the screen right now. This is what I'm rocking currently and I have battle pass tier 100 of course because I purchased it uh, to make a YouTube video on it. But you can see right here I have a 120% match XP boost active for myself and then I also am providing a 40% match XP boost to friends and this is a of course because i'm maxed on the battle pass if someone was battle pass level 40 or 50 they would still be giving you bonuses to, to yourself as well as a friend bonus it just wouldn't be as much so you want to play with people that are grinding the game or people that have maybe purchased the battle pass to the max if you have friends like that and these bonuses do stack so if you get in a squads game and if you play with a couple of friends that are pretty high levels and high up on the battle pass and you're you're making it into the late games that's a very very fast way to level up so that's one thing to pay attention to which is of course the xp bonuses now the key to actually rank it up in this game is kills really if we're talking traditional game modes which are probably the best ways to rank up uh the limited time modes usually will give you sometimes some bonuses for kills but they're just not as uh, efficient i find to rank up unless you're dropping like if you're playing rumble you got to be dropping like 20 25 bombs every single game uh, to get like huge huge xp in my opinion um of course it all depends on like how you do in that compared to how you do in solo duo or squads but i think those are definitely the ways to to, to stick to solo duo or squads and the thing is that getting kills 
And in reality in this game, I think kills need buffs in this game. I think there should be bigger rewards. Like, you know, you should get uh, maybe some mats when you get a kill. Or maybe get that 50 shield like there was in the pop-up cup when you get a kill. But as of right now, it looked the, like when you get... Um, when you're playing those traditional game modes, when you get the first kill of the match, you get a basically a bonus for that. And that's a first elimination. And that is also a week one challenge also. But after that, you're usually not getting many points at all for kills. Um, so the way to, to, to rank is to go for placements and to go to, to survive late into the game. If you know, recognize and you check on your set uh, stats, there's basically like, for example, solos I'll talk about, which I know the most. There is top 25, top 10, and then I believe it's, uh, I think that's it. Top 25, top 10, and then your, your, your wins. And there's a bonus for each of those categories. So to make it into top 25, that's a bonus. To make it into top 10, that's a bonus. And of course, to win the game is a huge bonus because of that. And that's the major, major key. The difference between an XP of a first place and a second place is very, very big. And that's, of course, because there's a big difference in the result. So as far as getting XP and getting kills, um, bonuses and uh, friend bonuses are huge. Going for kills really isn't that rewarding unless you're in a limited time mode. Most of the time, you want to be playing for placements and playing to hit those, those uh, marks. And I find that in solo, it's easier to hit those marks. However, you have to be honest with yourself as a player. And if you're, you know, not that good of a player when you play solo, maybe you die early too much. It's going to take you a while to rank up. If you party up with a couple people in a squad and you guys play sort of defensive for late game, which is kind of what you'd want to do, party up with a squad of people or go solo, whatever your bet, you know, squad would be awesome if you had everyone with huge bonuses and you guys could win every game. But maybe you, that doesn't, doesn't work for you. Maybe you're a solo player that has a 30% win ratio and playing solo, of course, would be the best way for you. You know, there's different ways with that. The next thing you're going to want to focus on is challenges. Now, I just talked to my buddy who doesn't have the Battle Pass Max Tier 100, and it looks like the challenges uh, this season should give you stars and XP, even if you are not that max rank. So you can see here, you should be getting 5k XP each week, potential with the weekly challenges as well as the stars. And then the daily challenges, for me, it shows that I get 1,000 XP each, but I believe for people that aren't max Battle Pass Tier 100, that's 500 XP and 5 stars or something like that, depending on the challenge. So these challenges are definitely a major, major key. And the fact that you can re-roll the daily challenge uh, fairly consistently, and sometimes it's really, really simple stuff like outlive opponents in a solo or SMG eliminations like I have today, and it makes it very, very easy. So challenges is definitely something that I think are, are so far it looks like the weekly challenges weren't too hard this week. I'm working on completing them. And daily ones always are pick and choose. If they're easy, go for them. And another way to get a good XP boost while playing and uh, just another way to add on to that and multiply and rank up a little bit quicker overall. And when it comes down to it, rank it up in this game, it really does come down to placements. And in my opinion, I think they really need to add more bonuses for kills, not just in XP. You should be getting a ridiculous amount of XP per kill, in my opinion. I mean, there's no punishment. There should be no punishment for getting more kills. You should be rewarded. And I think that the way they did it in like the pop-up cups where whenever you would kill someone, you would get 50 extra health was really, really dope. And a solution to... I think a, 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 not a full-on solution, but a kind of a solution to a little bit of the RNG in this game, because even if you only, you know, you can't find shields, for example, I don't know how many times I've looted like a whole town and can't find a shield. That would be nice then, because even if, you know, normally I would go and fight a person with 100 health, and if I win that fight, if that person doesn't have shield, I'm kind of screwed. But if you get a health just for the kill, I think that would help out skilled players as well. However, with the new shotgun update and all the stuff they've added, they are, you know, buffing good players anyway. And honestly, season seven, what are you guys thinking of it so far? Because personally, I'm loving it. I think this might be one of the best seasons we've had. Uh, the meta is in a pretty good spot right now. Mounted turret needs to go for sure. I think they should add bouncers back as well. Um, but that's basically it. So you can see here, I was playing a solo. And this is sort of the play style you want to play when you're ranking up fast. You can see I early rotate over to the zone. I build up, of course, uh, a nice little base with that new snowfall glider, which you can get from winning uh, a solo game. Or not winning a solo game. Winning either a solo, a duo, or a squad, your first one of the season. So you can see here, I post up. And then, of of course, I'm able to get the win, and uh, you get quite a bit of XP for that. So that's definitely the best way to rank up fast. Not too different from previous seasons, but I really think that a lot of people think to rank up fast, you have to go crazy and drop 20 bombs, when in reality, it's more about just consistently placing and making it to late game consistently. Even if you're not winning every game, you know, you don't want to lose every game because you want those bonuses, but even if you're not winning every game, a game where you're placing in like 8th place is going to be a lot better than a game where you're placing in 90th place, you know, 8th place with, with 
zero kills is pro or, or one kill is going to be a lot better than 90th place with five or even probably seven or ten kills um, usually. So that's how it is. Hopefully you guys, of course, there's bonuses for challenges and everything like that. And there can be some you know, discrepancies in it. But hopefully this will help you guys get an idea of how to rank up fast because I know people are asking about it. I know people want to level up these skins and I definitely do too. It's going to be a grind and no matter what comes down to it, there's, there's super efficient ways to do it. But you have to play the game a lot and you have to grind for this um, and at least hit that level, you know, 60 to 70 area where you can start to get some really, really dope unlocks or really, really dope final unlocks. Thanks for watching guys. Smack a like on this video. I'd really, really appreciate that. Subscribe if you guys are new. I don't know what this guy was doing. He sort of lost track of time here and go down and take him out with some headshots. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I really appreciate that. Check us on my other videos from earlier and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.